Hi, Gopinath. Uh, by mistake, they assigned you host. Can you please assign me host so that I can share my screen and start this session, please? Yes, sir. Just click on my name and uh, click on assign host. Uh, are you giving uh, the host privileges, Gopinath? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, thanks. I got the screen. Okay, guys. Uh, okay. So, guys, uh, Thanks for joining today's Marketing Cloud demo. My name is Harshit and I would be your instructor, um, your one-step solution, one-step content for every queries related to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Uh, thanks again for taking out your prestigious time to attend this demo session. And I hope this would be really beneficial for you to have clarity on what type of career we will have on Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Today's demo is not related to subject, but just a conceptual knowledge we will get around Salesforce Marketing Cloud, why there, there was a need of this product, why Salesforce has invested millions of dollars to develop this product, why it is boom into industry, what is its future, what all are, what all are the use cases which we can do here. Everything we, we will be relating with examples. So guys, please, open your mind and listen whatever I am trying to convey you in my best possible fashion so that you get a deep understanding about this product. You are here because you might have heard about this product, but what is actually this product all about? We are going to see it today. What are its features, capabilities? In brief, I am going to tell you out. Uh, Apart from this, what kind of career scope you will have for next 10, 15 years. So I'm talking about career guys. It, it is of next 10, 15 years. I consider that. So what kind of growth career you may have in, in on learning this platform? What kind of roles you can acquire on this platform? We are going to discuss everything in detail. In last, I would, I would be giving you opportunity to ask your doubts with me. And we'll have a healthy question and answer sessions, which would be benefiting to each and everybody present here. So guys, a warm welcome from my side to you. Uh, so let's start this session with a good note, guys. So guys, you all know that this product is called a Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And you all are well aware that there is a marketing keyword on this platform, in the name of this platform. And I'm pretty sure you already have a brief idea about marketing. What is marketing all about? So guys, we are not deep diving into what is marketing. That is a very vast subject. But why this platform is called as Marketing Cloud and how people, what type of marketing we can do from this platform, how it is different from other ways of marketing which is being followed in the industry, which companies are already following, how this platform is a differential factor between those platforms, we will be going to discuss that. So guys, we all know what is marketing. This is something which we have heard from our childhood days. Uh, this is something which we have heard from our childhood days. 
not sure why this uh, cross cross came here i'm i'm pretty sure why this uh, sorry i'm i'm pretty sure you must have heard about this marketing uh, from your childhood days and you would be learning or knowing more about this concept in future as well this is something ever growing topic it was followed in traditional days as well it is being followed now as well and it would be followed in future as well so guys what is marketing you all know but i would like to convey a short definition of marketing it is an action or business of promoting and selling products or services every business would either be a product business or a service business if they want to scale up they would have to do marketing why we we will do marketing to reach more and more customers to educate them about the products and services you are selling to make them aware around your products and services to tell them why they require your products and services and in return you can acquire them as your own customer sell that products and services to them to generate revenue more and more people you will reach more and more people would be educated around your products and services more and more hype around products and services you will be able to uh, make in the market and that would in return attract more and more customers and you would grow richer and richer with the marketing the more robust marketing activities are there in your company the more scalable marketing activities are there scalable means you should not be stuck to a some limited tactics but it should be scalable you you should be always finding an opportunity to have a customized marketing strategy around people around product that is scalability in marketing so more and more scalable solutions of marketing you would be developing more and more people would be attracted and more and more business would grow so guys long story short as we know what is marketing as it is act for business to promote their products and services how marketing was followed in traditional days how marketing is followed nowadays and how marketing would be followed in future that is something which really fascinates us about like in traditional days that time also people were doing marketing that time also there were products and services which people were selling that times business were were also growing that times people were were, were were buying the products and services of companies when there was no internet when there was no smartphone that time also people were able to sell their products and services market their products and services nowadays also it is happening but on a robust scale um on on a greater scale we have technologies which are defining marketing activities now and in future also there would be other platforms tactics to support our marketing efforts it is an ever ever growing concept and it is an ever green concept as well when there is a business there has to be some marketing efforts by that company so what is difference between the traditional way of marketing and the current way of marketing that time if you remember your childhood days you were not knowing about the mobile phone even if you saw that mobile phone telephones were there you never imagined that the mobile phone would be handy in our hand you never imagined about world wide web you never knew facebook instagram youtube and all these channels would be coming you never knew amazon facebook netflix uh, whatsapp twitter zomato swiggy ola uber all these things you, you you never knew you didn't have any idea but with the evolution of technology now we are into modern world we have everything which is technologically driven we do marketing now as well people were doing marketing that time as well but as that time as the technology was were not present what were the ways of marketing if somebody was so if if some shop was present around your locality it, it it must be a physical shop that time there was no concept of online marketing so that was a physical shop so how he used to promote their products and services how the shop owner used to promote their products and services if he had smaller budget he could have distributed pamphlets he could have gone to a printing agency uh, had designed a nice pamphlet for them or a template for them paper templates you can say and he could have hired people to distribute them one by one to houses 
distributing them in streets at, at, at crowded places. These were the tactics which they were used to follow. Now, if they had even more budget, uh, then they could have bought some advertisement space at crowded place like banners, billboards, you can say. They could have paid money to agencies who manages these billboards, these banners at crowded places, at key places in your locality, in your city, and they could have advertised their products and services there locally. If they had even more budget, what they could have done, they could have went to local radio operators or local television cable operators, paid them some money and asked them to advertise within a city or a region. Um, we were having local radios, local television channels where they could have published their ad over television. If they had more budget, then what could they have done? They could have went to national radios they could have went to newspapers, national newspapers and could have advertised their products and services there, just uh, securing a place inside a newspaper or securing some minutes of advertisement on the radio, national radio. If they really were a good company, a, a good business, they, they were spread across regions, then they could have taken this path. If they had even more budget, then they could have went to national television. They could have sponsored the shows, the television shows, the DD Doordarshan and everything we had in India, the government channels. After every 15, 20 minutes, we were used to see some advertisements they could have sponsored those, those shows via some advertisements if they had even more budget what is the best thing they could have done they could have sponsored live i should say world cups key events they could have sponsored to a world cup a football event a cricketing event that time there was no IPL, no hot star, but still they could have went to stadium and they could have displayed their banners, advertisements, or they could have sponsored the live telecast. So that were the ways where people, these were the ways which people used to do traditional marketing. I'm talking traditional marketing, which is just 20 years back, not 100 years back. The, the, in our era, I am talking about. I am sure you must be you must be younger before twenty years. You could have imagined the situation we had before twenty years. All these were the only mediums to market our products and services. But guys, there was something which which you have to consider in that uh, traditional way of marketing where brand was only going to promote their products and services. Brand wanted to have something, ha had new launch, they would go and distribute pamphlets, advertisements and everything. Um, they could have sponsored the shows and all, but there was no mechanism for people to interact back with the brand. There were no mechanism where people can come and share some reviews, share some feedbacks, like the product, dislike the product, contribute towards product enhancement, uh, dislike the services, criticize the services, share the services. They were not having that mechanism. So we can say that it was only one type of effort, one way effort, which is only performed by a particular company. There was no engagement between company and customer because marketing is also a concept where you listen to customers, you listen to their needs, demands, and you continuously enhance, customize your products and services to have best possible features inculcated inside it so that it fulfills that demand the recent needs of their customer then only the best product is made and then only it is boomed but in traditional ways of marketing though that were successful at that era but it couldn't have successful in this era because uh, there was no means for a customer to interact with a brand there was no twitter handle they can at mention a particular company and criticize or appreciate there was no instagram they could have posted stories there were no googles they could have went and posted some reviews there was no youtube where people could have provided reviews on a particular products and services there was nothing there was no whatsapp they can directly share a product services there was nothing so the only mechanism left was one way type of marketing where brands only took initiative and uh, 
um, and 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 got involved. The other drawback of that marketing was people were not able to have greater reachability and adaptability. A local store in a locality could reach maximum to maximum two to five districts, uh, which is nearby that district. If he could have more business, then he could have reached to next state. But reaching five six districts only was a very uh, achievable task for them they could they could have been satisfied with that much effort only but guys with with the with the evolution of technology as the time changed the technology also changed everything now is driven by technology everything around you you would see a tremendous implementation of technology is happening or has already happened. We have Wi-Fi's, we have smart bulbs, we have smart devices, not only mobile phone we have, we have desktop, tab, laptops, we, we, we have different kind of operating systems, we have Kindles, we have smart watches now, even we have, even the, the, the televisions have replaced the locality, the key places in our city uh, where it used to have a billboard. Now we can have a television and we can continuously change the advertisements of different vendors, different companies. So everything around our locality is technologically driven. So now guys, with the evolution of technology, with the adoptability of technology, people who were not using smart devices are now becoming smart using these devices or are having great interest in their mind that in next six to one year, they would be going and buying that smart devices. The devices are really made comfortable, accommodable, um, that people are able to um, afford them, sorry, affordable. People are able to afford them. Continuous enhancements are there uh, so that every people on this earth at least should be able to afford a mobile device. So now, guys, with the evolution of technology, people are becoming smart by holding smart devices. The marketing ways have also become smart. The we have a lot of applications and everything which is making the process of marketing very smart like the shop which was locally present around your street district is now a digital shop in a form of application in a form of website if he had very less budget he could have listed in a facebook marketplace free of cost he could have listed his shop in insta marketplace free of cost if he had more budget he could have developed his e-commerce e website now if he had even more budget he could have went to develop an application a customized application for his own business you, you must be seeing that there are millions of applications on play store millions of applications are there on app store people are behind them to be uh, to to adopt app based strategy to promote their products and services so guys whatever thing was locally physically present is now digitally present and guys, as these are digitally present, there was a requirement to increase footfall of customers on their brand presence. Some brand was present in a form of application. Some brand was present in a form of Facebook or Insta marketplace. Some brand is present in a form of website. So people have secured places online. People have developed ways to be present online and provide services online. But there is there was a need to have footfall of customers coming in and visiting their online presences. Like people visiting their applications, people visiting their, uh, their websites, there was a tremendous need of that. So now we had to drive traffic, online traffic, not to their physical stores, but to their digital stores. So now there was a need to drive traffic. Then there came a concept of digital marketing. With the help of digital marketing, you people are able to promote their products and services digitally. People are able to get more and more customers visiting their products and services uh, digitally. There are tactics like you run ad, you, you you do SEOs, search engine optimizations, you, you do public listings, you drive traffic, you drive footfall of customers on your applications. But guys, is this the only thing which is marketing nowadays? 
No. Why? Because with the help of digital marketing, you can acquire more customers. You can acquire a new customer. Suppose you are new to smart device world. You don't know what is Amazon. You started to know, okay, there is an app called Facebook. Let's have a try. Because your people are already on Facebook, Instagram, you just acquired a smart device. You want to be on Facebook, guys. So you went and created your account with the help of your friend that, okay, this is the process to get logged into Facebook. I'm talking about people who do, who are, who do not have education at that level. They would require help from different people. I pretty sure you all are very educated and you all know what is Facebook, but think of people who just acquired a smart device, whose parents were not educated, but somehow Facebook, Instagram has so much hype in our society that even people who are non-educated, who do not know how to read, write, are, are still having desire to come on Facebook. So with the help, with the help of their friends, they went on Facebook. Now on Facebook, they will start to see ads. They saw one time that, okay, there are tremendous products on a website, which is called as Amazon. Amazon was running some ads on the Facebook with the help of digital marketing practices. So they saw that, okay, Amazon is the place where you can go and get multiple products. It He clicked on the link of Amazon. Basically, he clicked on the ad, which he saw on Facebook, Instagram, and he landed to a landing page on Amazon. What will Amazon ask there? Amazon will ask, are you already a customer or you want to sign up new? With the help of his educated friend, he signed up as a new customer. So guys, Amazon is able to acquire one customer via Facebook with the help of digital marketing. There ends the person, there you can say that the scope of digital marketing ends. How it ends? Because it has helped Amazon to acquire one customer. Similarly, Amazon would be acquiring millions of customers in a day. But guys, that is the only thing you require. You just need to pe 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 people to reach to your website and just sign up. That's all. Not at all, guys. You have spent a lot of money to acquire him as a customer. Even running ads are not uh, if uh, cost effective, you can go and search paper click costing. It would be close to around ten dollars, fifteen dollars, um, or even more. You can say if there is a lot of competition in that industry. So you can sense what amount of money is getting spent to acquire a customer. So now, as you have already acquired a customer. It came to Amazon's website by clicking on that ad. It searched for a product and it, it he left within 15-20 minutes. What has happened here, guys? Amazon spent a lot of money to acquire him as a customer and he just scrolled for 15-20 minutes and he left. Here comes the end limit of digital marketing. You can again get back him, get back that customer on Amazon by running more ads but that would be costing you a lot of money. It makes no sense to show the same ad to a person who has already become your customer. He previously signed up for Amazon, right? He is becoming, he has become Amazon's customer. Then why again Amazon would show the similar ad and acquire him again as, a, as his customer? Would it not cost Amazon a lot of money? You can go and search paper, click, uh, money, uh, the, the, the amount for one click of advertisement, you would be into nightmare that how much amount is being thrown to Facebook and YouTube and every other advertisement channels to acquire customers. So guys, what is the challenge here? Customer came by clicking on the ad, spent some amount of time and then left. Amazon will lose a customer here. Because digital marketing do not teach us how to sustain our customers for long, how to maintain relationships with our customer once he is acquired, how to, uh, I should say, how to close deals with that customer, how to maintain, I should say, um, 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 a, a, an automated solution that customers get stuck into your own ecosystem. He would never go to other website, even if he thinks to buy something, the first thing it would come is Amazon. 
there is no such customer retention focused mechanism in the digital marketing you can get footfalls but you cannot retain a customer for long with the digital marketing tactics so guys new customers are getting acquired by digital ads that is quite clear that you have to advertise to a greater people audience uh, to to large number of audience to attract their interests but as the customer has already came as customers already came to your platform then why you will go and again show the ads and spend the same amount of money to acquire them via ads is it not very cost uh, costly for you if you consider big platforms like amazon they are doing global businesses millions of customers are there if you consider only 1 million customer for a single day they are getting from ads and if you consider at least 10 dollar for one customer then you can understand that uh, 1 crore dollar you can say amazon is spending on a single day to acquire 10 million customers now if they leave after 15 minutes the next day they would amazon would do the same thing that would not at all be a cost effective approach there has to be a different mechanism Hello, sir. You are not audible. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. You are not audible. Can you check your microphone? sign me assign me host please krishna okay guys so guys i was telling that amazon spent a lot of money to acquire a customer and if he goes after 15 20 minutes and will not return back by himself organically then amazon would be i should say spending again the same amount of money to acquire that customer so the digital marketing limits are reached here guys why because it does not provide us the mechanism with the help of which we can retain a customer again and again uh, we can work on customer sustainability uh, we can i should say customize the strategies of marketing for them 
because once a customer came it it it, it is his um, i should say will if he want to continue or not but you as a brand has to define the strategy how you can bring him back on the same platform which he left 15 minutes after using that platform with different tactics because digital ads would cost you a lot of money and no company wants to just blindly run on ads there is a strategy to only run ads to acquire a new customer on board but once a customer has been acquired there has to be different mechanism different tactics to retain that customer continuously once you are you have become a customer of amazon not every day you would buy but whenever you want to buy something you would have first preference as amazon amazon has worked a lot on customer sustainability not just brand name attracts guys the effort a brand makes to retain a customer that determines their success story you just heard about amazon 3 years back 4 years back when it was launched or at least 5 years back and till now you continuously know about amazon approximately every day you would be seeing something coming around amazon to you uh, you are continuously being nurtured by amazon because you sometime went and became their customer but they haven't forgotten you even you do not visit more often to their website that to their application but they would not forget you that you have already become your customer they would rather be very creative to sustain you in their own ecosystem to maintain relationships with you to work towards your retention so digital marketing would not be helping us to work on three parameters customer sustainability customer retention and customer relationship then how to how to achieve them because these three parameters are most required if you want to do business online for long run you cannot go and simply just uh, advertise blindly and get more and more customers and if a customer came to your ecosystem you just forget within 15 minutes like he dropped off from your platform there has to be a different strategy to sustain them and what is that strategy guys you have to you as a brand have to know abc of your customer who you have acquired so that with that abc you are able to customize your marketing strategies how you will be reading abc guys you will be re- reading abc of a customer with a new concept of marketing which is data driven marketing what is data driven marketing you went to amazon suppose you saw an ad the same guy who was looking in his instagram post he saw the advertisement of amazon he signed up from amazon after 15 minutes of searching products and services there he left so guys what is the abc for that customer which amazon would like to know amazon would like to know what products he has searched what are the specific keywords he has searched whether he explored some reviews or not whether he has put some products into the cart or not these are the abcs which are data related to a customer which amazon is reading when that customer actually landed on its platform so guys data driven marketing is a new fuel to work towards customer retention customer sustainability and customer relationship how you have to read abc of the customer you have to rely on the data rather than advertisement because advertisement has done is its work to acquire you a new customer now you want to go long run with the, you want to run long with the customer you want to have a relationship for next 10 15 years i have been purchasing products from amazon from last 5 years and if it is the number one platform in the market i would be continue purchasing the same different products whatever i require in next 10 15 years as well if they are able to make the same amount of discipline decorum and image in my mind 
so guys amazon has literally worked on customer retention because every time i think i go to amazon or flipkart you can see both have maintained the same amount of image in my eyes so guys how this is possible whenever a new customer is acquired how to go long with that customer you have to work on data driven marketing you have to learn abc of the customers what your customer has searched what are the keywords he has searched whether he has put something into the cart whether he has liked a product whether he has posted a negative review whether he spent a lot of time searching a particular category of product which color jeans he 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 is seeing which color t-shirt he is seeing all these activities of you as a customer is getting tracked is getting saved by amazon and even if you leave after searching 15 20 minutes on amazon exploring the products and services within next 30 minutes you will get an email from amazon we noticed you were searching about this product you were searching about black levi's jeans the price range was 1000 to 2000 here are more recommendations wrangler jeans 800 lee jeans 1200 um flying machine jeans 700 same black color jeans same pattern same rugged jeans they will flood you with a lot of options via email or they would send a push notification catch up for more related products on related to uh, levi's jeans you will get this kind of customized marketing i have i will not get type, that type of email guys why because you have generated data you have generated abc for amazon the platform is customized for you the communication is customized for you for your use cases for your requirements you will only get that product recommendation email within 30 minutes from amazon why amazon is bothering to send that email why amazon has spent a lot of money to design such a system which is capable to read your abc read your data and customize the products and services reading your data very quickly within 30 minutes and sending you because amazon has hint that you may have a requirement to to buy the jeans let's flood you with a lot of options a lot of price ranges uh, which is best suited based on your search and let's try to retain you again because you may have left because you are not able to search a lot of products of the same category you may have concerns about price ranges you may have xyz concerns due to which you left their platform but amazon won't forget that you left their platform rather they would put everything on your table would send a product recommendation email is somebody manually sending that email is somebody manually tracking what all keywords you searched and that keywords they were able to club into an email and the related products also were sent via that email no amazon has invested to design develop data driven systems which is capable enough to know what their customers really want and quickly those systems are able to pull the data from the system put inside an email put inside the push notification and send to you at the right moment when you are their hot lead because you had some requirement you went to search for a product they do not want to miss that opportunity they have tried to customize their marketing activity for you and have sent product recommendation emails now you went and put something into the cart and you forget you went something into the cart you got a call from your mother father boyfriend girlfriend anybody you you must you might have got call or you might have involved into some other activities you totally forgot to buy that product but will amazon forget no amazon would send you sms this is the product you put into the cart this is a customized coupon only for you get instant 10% off within next 2 hours a customized prime sale is only for you buy this product in next 2 hours use this coupon this amazon has tracked amazon has tracked that you have put into the cart it's been 30 minutes 40 minutes there is a lot of delay you may have considered any other option so to bring you back to retain you back on their platform they have provided this offer maybe they will send maybe 100 people have 
put something into the cart amazon would send 100 people the same coupons and offers but in return definitely amazon would be able to retain 10 customers who would be going and purchasing so who is getting benefited amazon as a business is getting benefited because it has shifted its approach towards customer retainability sustainability and customer relationship that is why it is tracking each and every behavior of you as a customer you get birthday emails a specialized offer from pepperfry.com um from furs and petals.com a specialized coupon only for your birthday at from pentaloons a specialized offer for your anniversary uh, from zomato from swiggy all these applications are very creative in reading your data very much behind data driven marketing i ordered chinese zomato saw that five to six times in a month i ordered chinese at five to six pm now zomato has understood my data pattern my uh, likes dislikes every day at 5 pm zomato zomato would send me a push notification consider asking me to consider one restaurant around my locality which is hot right of chinese will will be very creative with the push notification contents would try to woo me attract me so that i can open that push notification see at least the menu that chinese restaurant is showing to me it will not send the same whatsapp or uh, so, sorry it would not send send the same push notification to people why z why because they must have been um, interested into continental they must have been interested into north india south indian cuisines bengali cuisines i like chinese only i am getting chinese restaurant recommendation at the same time 5 pm because amazon because zomato has understood the habit the pattern by reading my data so guys data is the new fuel of marketing data driven marketing is something which is getting adopted by many businesses and the businesses which are not adopting would be left behind the businesses who have already adopted this data driven marketing approach why because data is the new fuel people want to business want to know a 360 profile of you as a customer they want to make a 360 profile of you as a customer they want to know what is your birthday what is your anniversary what are your likes dislikes what are your favorite products what are your favorite events what is your behavior pattern how frequently you order how frequently you need that product and at the same time you can relate with your uh, life with your applications you have installed the many companies try to message you the same time the the same auspicious moments where you think okay how how they came to know around about this you may be getting birthday emails you may be getting any other product recommendation you may be getting coupon code you may be getting some reminders as well that your birthday is coming this is a customized code let let this family our entire family celebrate this your birthday with this coupon code we are inviting you to this event we are inviting you to that event a lot of things you can relate so guys data driven marketing is the new era of marketing because digital marketing is the marketing which has only limited scope a limited platforms you can say now is a era of ott platforms omni channel platforms digital marketing would only help you to run advertisement on facebook instagram google there is no other platform which digital marketing would help you to run the advertisement but with the data driven marketing you can understand what is the best ad or what is the ad a customer has clicked on hotstar so that they are able to bring that data which product a customer has searched on the web they are able to bring that data they are able to make a 360 profile and then customize their marketing activities so guys opti opt what is data driven marketing optimize brand communications based on customer information every message would be customized based on the customer's information and would be only specific to that customer every customer is important every customer has a unique skills has unique attributes has unique personality has unique tastes likes and brands wants to give a customized experience to every individual rather than running a ad and showing to millions of people the same ad 
they would want to send the ad which is customized to a particular person so that it best fulfills its needs desires rather than a generic ad where the people would be who are interested would only go and interact brands wants to know your 360 profile guys so that they are able to interact with you in very creative ways which is very important for customer sustainability retention and relationship so i hope you are able to understand what is data driven marketing it helps to create personalized marketing strategies for highest possible return of investments it uses customer data to predict their needs desires and future behaviors you can understand the pattern of a customer buying pattern eating pattern food pattern habits of the customer using data driven marketing if you have designed such a robust system such a nice system which is capable to capture each and every activity of a customer then you are the god in that space you know everything about the customer you can go and promote any product at any time which when a customer wants and definitely you would be able to get a conversion rather than running a digital ad which is generic to all customer you should be capable to reach the customer at right time at right place at right moment at right with right product which a customer wants that moment and if you are able to adopt all these things with the help of digital marketing you are the god in that space like amazon is the god in e-commerce business and it would remain god in e-commerce business but guys there is one more challenge that data driven marketing nobody is going to send you that product recommendation emails or manually zomato hasn't hired many guys who would be sending you push notification there has to be an automated mechanism which would be capable to read the data there has to be automations defined which is three which is round the clock 24 hours reading the data about the customer uh, which is reading the data about the customer and are customizing their strategies behind that that concept is called as marketing automation because the system should be capable enough to reach the customer automatically at the right time at the right moment at the right place at the right with the right product what will decide this factor marketing automation strategies would define this factor automating the process of nurturing leads to sales readiness why you want to maintain relationship with your customers because you want to nurture them as a customer they are the leads for you leads for a particular products or services you want to nurture them so that you can convert a sale from them otherwise if there is no lead nurturing uh, if there is no interest to get sales from that customer then amazon would not spend a lot of engineers designing this platform for them so guys marketing automation is based on data driven marketing is the modern way of marketing modern way of personalized data driven marketing marketing automation brings together information from touch points like website visits download social media activity direct marketing it creates 360 profile of a customer and helps your business to reach the customer at the right time at the right moment at the right place with the right product if the customer is searching something on website you should be able to post the right product on the website if the customer is exploring facebook you should be able to promote the right product on the facebook if the customer is using google you should be able to promote the right advertisement to that customer uh, on the google so right platform is also required for you to promote customer has habit to, to to run twitter more often than facebook there is no point to promote an advertisement for that customer on facebook that also that also you should know with the customer's pattern that customer is more active often between 6 to 10 pm on twitter so let's promote this product and services at twitter at the same time rather than displaying a generic ad to a customer uh, for every customer it is same ad rather be personalized so all these things can be possible using marketing automation guys and this marketing automation is provided the facility to develop marketing automation infrastructure so that brands can support their marketing automation activities, data-driven activities, 
is provided by Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So guys, Salesforce Marketing Cloud is a B2C marketing automation platform. It helps you to deliver personalized customer engagement on every channel from email, web, mobile, social, digital, everything. It enables you to, to know your customers personalized with intelligence engaged across entire life cycle. So Marketing Cloud is a market, marketing automation platform which works on the principles of data-driven marketing. So guys, this is the marketing cloud in front of you. This platform would be, we would be studying in detail how big companies, this is not digital marketing guys, how big companies are secretly able to maintain relationships, maintain transactional relationships, commercial relationships with the customer. We are going to see that into this platform. So guys, this is purely information technology it's not something related to digital marketing. You can somewhat relate to digital marketing, but the entire concept is different. This is the present and future demand of marketing. This platform is a very powerful platform. It is still being developed for more features by Salesforce. And this platform would be in greater demand, huge demand for next at least 10 years because the data-driven marketing has just started and there is only one powerful platform which connects you with the ecosystem of data-driven marketing and whatever push notifications you are getting, whether you order a cab, when cab is near your location, you get a push notification, you order a food, you get a notification, push notification that the delivery guy is standing at your door you purchase something, you get automatic invoices, you get birthday emails, product recommendation emails, you get SMSs, a very creative SMSs, creative forms in that SMS, everything which is related to digital communication, which is based on data generated by the customers is happening via Salesforce Marketing Cloud only. So you must not be surprised that the push notifications you are getting via Zomato, via Swiggy, via Ola, Uber are being sent from Marketing Cloud only. There is nothing other infrastructure available which is capable enough to send this. You must not be surprised if you see that Amazon is sending push uh, is, is sending product recommendation emails, abundant card emails when you do, when you go and do not purchase something from cart, all these emails you are getting uh, via marketing cloud only. So marketing clouds are is divided into studios and builders. Like we have email studio, mobile studio, and mobile studio we have mobile connect, mobile push. We have social. We have builders available to define data driven marketing strategy. Everything here, guys, we will be going to study in detail. The syllabus you would be getting from the institute's website. As you don't have that, ping me on LinkedIn or ping institute on the link uh, uh, on the WhatsApp, and they would be providing. So, guys, this was a brief introduction about Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Why there is a requirement, and I would like to check with you if you have any questions for now. Any questions, guys? Yeah, I do have a question. Yeah. So presently, we have only Salesforce uh, CRM is inside the marketing cloud. Do we have any other CRMs? It will be inside the marketing cloud. Any CRM, guys, you can connect. There is a direct connection with Salesforce CRM. And Microsoft Dynamics CRM is also connected directly. But you can connect any CRM from the world. The integration ways would be different. Salesforce provides direct integration capabilities via managed package. You always have API connections where you can establish connection with any platform in the world, whether it is CRM database or any other platform, ERP, um, any platform you can connect with marketing cloud, but the ways would be different. Okay, so coming these are to... the advanced platform guys, uh, these would be using the capabilities of APIs. Any system in the world can be connected who is capable enough to have API capabilities inside them. So it is, uh, there is any development? Yeah, development is there, development is there, how you will become, develop the infrastructure, you will have to develop that. But more often it's a customization than development. If you are concerned that you are not from technical background, there is not uh, much to worry here. You can still go with customization. But if you are starting a career, guys, or one to two years, three years of experience, that is very initial days of your career, 
uh, you can learn customization but you should not be avoiding development part as well because if you want to grow your career next 10 15 years i am talking about the career you should not have any blocker which would avoid to get that heights in your career so if you're just starting if you're concerned about development i am here to teach you all everything am script i will be teaching you just you have to adopt if you're not able to adopt that's okay get a job using customization uh, skills but learn eventually when you grow on this platform guys it would be ever growing platform so development is definitely there but that is not a compulsion i should say can we able to crack the certification of the after this completion of the course certification yeah email specialist consultant and admin all three certifications you would be able to crack right away uh, development certification you would still require a lot of practice to crack i won't suggest you if you are if you are just learning this platform the first time you go and crack the development but email specialist admin and consultant you are able to crack very easily every month two or three people who studies from me are able to crack them if you are not able to crack yourself let me know i'll crack it for you Will you be giving job assistance? Job assistance would be provided by institute, guys. You can check this with institute. Uh, but definitely there is a job assistance program. But one suggestion, you should not rely on other people for the job assistance. Rather, learn this technology. There are a lot of jobs which are requiring talented engineers or professionals on this platform at least for now if you are able to prove your skills no need to have any assistance i am the best instructor in this platform guys you can go and see anywhere i have spent entire my life my career learnings here to train you it's out of my passion you can say so if you are able to learn whatever i am teaching you are still 10% uh, uh, of 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 in uh, you can say ten percent of people into the job market who really have the skills. You can say there are a lot of people who will have fake experience this and all. But if you go seriously through my course, definitely you would be in top ten percent job seekers in this technology, guys. This is guarantee I am giving to you. Any questions, guys? So I'm talking about next 10 years of career, guys. You don't need to learn anything. Even I don't know anything. And I'm doing good in this technology. I have done so well that I'm teaching you as well. So you can understand. And I don't want to learn any other thing. So you can consider my example. Sorry, my audio is not working. Will be given assignments. Yeah, everything would be given, guys. Assignments would be given. If you do, if you miss some lectures, I run parallel lectures. You can join my other classes. You would be having everything. Just you have to be supportive with me. You have to work hard. Everything would be given. Even I would give you 100 questions. Not 180 short, short questions. Out of those 80 questions, if you do not get 90% of interview questions, then come back to me. I'll refund everything to you. The sure shot 80 to 90 questions I would give you if you learn the entire marketing cloud, whatever I am teaching you, practice by heart. And then you mug up all those 80, 90 questions which I will give. It would be life-changing experience for you guys. So everything would be provided. The class is going to start from tomorrow only, guys. This is the second demo. So if you have any questions, please let me know so that I can clear here and you are able to communicate to the institute that you can join from tomorrow. Because if you have thought to learn, not to delay, if you have any challenges, issues, you can speak to institute. Uh, but I would say if you have something in your mind to learn this technology, this is the right time every month at least I am training 15, 20 people. You can understand. I am also creating competition into job market for marketing cloud. Similarly, like me, people are getting trained from other places as well. So you should be uh, wasting time if you don't act very quickly on this. 
So let me know if you have any questions. Please open up your mic and clear your doubts. I would be here to. Sir, one, one question. Should, yeah. Should we have? Should we? Should we? Hello. Yes. 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 One minute. Okay. Uh, should we need to study any programming language like HTML, JavaScript? HTML programs are not programming language. They are scripting language. Scripting language definitely okay, you will have to study if you want to go with development. Okay. But but, but it's, it's not entire thing you have to learn, guys. HTML basic you have to learn. You are working marketing cloud. You will be working as marketing cloud engineer. Will you teach, will you teach that engineer. side also? Sorry? Will you teach this, will you teach this uh, HTML, CSS and so no, no, HTML, CSS is not marketing cloud language. They are open sources. But I would give you uh, 10 to 15 functions which you have to mug up. You don't have okay. to become an HTML developer, CSS developer to be to be honest, guys. Please understand. Do not think that a lot of programming is required. Get what is required. 10, 15 functions of HTML which you, which you sit for 8 hours a day, you would be able to do. 10, 15 questions of, uh, functions of CSS, if you sit for one day you would be able to do 10 15 functions of sql if you sit one day you would be able to do so in one week whatever i tell you html css and sql if you are able to do no need to have any other background no need to have technical background you are still starting from scratch w3 school is the best place in one week get basics of html css and uh, and sql that's all guys you don't have to become html developer or css developer or sql developer you want to become marketing cloud developer focus this platform 1.5 months would be the training again you would be practicing around three months i am taking that you would be getting a job at least if you do everything uh, on time but HTML, CSS and SQL, these three things would be definitely required, but you should not avoid learning them to be honest, because if you want to grow bigger in your career, all these three things would come to you. And one more thing, you do not have to become master in these technologies. You just have to learn basics. If you learn basics, you have entire Google. You can go and search for that function again and again if you are stuck somewhere. But at least you should put hands on to learn 10, 10 functions of each HTML, CSS and SQL. It won't take more than three days if you work for eight hours a day. If you want to have a one week, two week, that is also fine. But at least learn this because this would be defining your future growth in the marketing platform technology. Um, but still, if you do not want to learn, that's okay. You can work on customization. But if you want to have nice package, then you should learn this. And if you are having one, two, three years of experience, definitely you should learn this. Even I have seen six years of experience learning these old technologies. But guys, one uh, again, I'm telling you don't have to become master in HTML, CSS and SQL. You just have to learn 30 functions together. 10 of HTML, 10 of CSS and 10 of SQL. These three things, only 30 functions. That's all. 30 functions you can do in one week. Next week, you can practice and keep it aside. Never go and touch that. Whatever requirement comes to you, go and search that. So what, what about AM script? AM script I would be teaching. You won't be teaching? I will be teaching. Okay, okay, okay. It will be related to developing side only. AM script or? AM script is, uh, would be for developing side. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. AM script is for development side, right? Hello. Am I audible? Oh, yes, yes. Continue, sir. AM script is marketing cloud language. I would be teaching that, guys. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, Harshit. So I have a question, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so will the org active uh, uh, be given right from the training day one or after Not the tomorrow training? tomorrow only, guys. Tomorrow only. Okay, so from the day one of the training itself. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got you. And uh, one more thing. So after the training, also the org actives will be there for the next three months. For first three months, you would be getting the org access. If you have urgent requirement, then you can go and uh, ask us to extend it for one or two weeks. But this is not very uh, cheap, guys. It costs around three lakh a month if, if you consider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very I... expensive. We are managing for you so that you are able to make career.
three months, I think is enough time for you to make utilization. But that would not be limited. You can have it extended as well. Three months or two months, guys, I'm not sure. Uh, you can check with SV Tech Soft. But two months, you would definitely get. One month, you can get it extended. Okay. Fine, Ashit. Yeah, thanks. So, but from tomorrow, only people who have already enrolled are only practicing on org. So, everything is practical, guys. We are the only institute who will provide this org access. Uh, other institute may provide, but after 10, 15 days, they would revoke that access after taking money because this is very expensive platform. But we somehow managed to acquire that for you guys. So make efficient utilization of that. Apart from your class, do we have to follow Trailhead? No, Trailhead is uh, not required to be followed here. Marketing Cloud Trailhead is not at all capable enough to let you know at least basics as well. But Trailhead M script you have to work on. That is the module which I would recommend. Trailhead is only for sales cloud, service cloud, not for marketing cloud. So when is the batch starting and oh, what batch timing? Batch uh, tomorrow 8 p.m. Okay, okay. Or if you have any other timing, let us know. We'll, we'll see that. You can enroll, guys, but you can have another batch attended if you miss something. If you come inside our ecosystem, then you would be continuously requiring us for other helps as well, like job support, like interview support, certification support. You again want to clarify more topics, doubts. So everything would be provided to you. Any more questions, guys? Okay, guys, then you can reach SP Tech Soft and uh, process your enrollments. Can we change timings to 9 p.m.? Uh, Wilson, 9 p.m. would not be possible because it would be very late for us. 8 to 8 or 8.30 maximum we can do. 9 to 10 would be very late. Uh, for some time you can join later or we will be accommodating into morning batch uh, which is fine for you okay we'll connect this offline i think you already enrolled so we'll we'll speak uh, on the timings wilson how we can help you out that we can speak uh, offline okay 8 30 pm yeah definitely 8 30 pm we would be starting 8 or 8 30 pm depending on the people's uh, a uh, vote we would be starting that so 8 30 i'm i'm all okay 9 pm would be very late because people in india have to report office next day at 8 or 9 am so they should be getting at least eight or eight hours of sleep along with dinner and some extra activity so 8 30 to 9 30 would be the last time which we would be having a batch Okay, guys, any more questions? Thanks, guys. If you still have any doubt, you can connect me over LinkedIn and you can personal message me and we'll see uh, um, if, if you have any other doubts, we'll try to clarify. Okay. Okay, guys, have a good day. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, guys, bye. Thanks for attending this demo. You can find the meeting uh, recording.